Hello, my name's Laura Rolls and I'm a fiddler and a teacher from the Isle of Man. So today we're going to have a look at another Manx tune in the series of videos that Culture Vannon are producing to help uh, beginner fiddlers to learn some Manx music. And the tune we're going to have a go at today is a really important one. It's called Three Little Boats Went Out to Sea and it's really important because it's a tune that's used for dancing a lot. So fiddlers on the Isle of Man, one of our main jobs is to play for dancers. And this is a tune you will end up playing an awful lot. Now, because it's for dancing, it's a jig and it's quite fast. But don't worry, we will start off slow, we will learn it slowly. And then once you've mastered it, then you can work on getting the speed up so you can play it faster. I'm going to play it through for you now and I'm going to play it through quite slowly. I'll do it the speed that we're going to, we're going to learn it. And then at the end, I'll play it through for you at full speed, the speed that you would be expected to play, play it for dancing. So you can hear kind of what you've got to aim for. So here's three little boats went out to sea, nice and slowly. Now it sounds quite long, it sounds like there's quite a lot to learn, but there's a lot of bits that repeat. So don't worry, once we've learned a little section, then you've probably learnt most of it. So the first section, let's have a listen to the first little phrase that we're going to learn. Okay, so we're going to start on a wide second finger. We've mainly got wide second fingers in this piece, apart from on the E string, where we're going to have a close second, so just watch that later on. So wide second finger to start, and we're going to jump all the way from a wide second on the D to a first finger on the A. Okay, so the first bit goes. So we've got three Bs, three first fingers on the A string. And then we're going to go up to a second finger, and then up again to a third finger and back to a second finger. Okay, so the whole of it goes, starts on a number two, and we're gonna jump up to a one on the A string. Up to a second, third, back to a second. Okay, one more time through that. Brilliant, okay, now the next bit, we're gonna go up to a third finger on the A string and we're going to jump back to a number one on the A string. So it goes. And we have that little pattern again where we do three, three number ones. So one, two, three. Fantastic. Now we're going to keep the same kind of rhythmic pattern, but we're going to go to a second, a wide second finger on the A string. And then we're going to go, we're going to jump down to an open A string. So it goes. Okay, should we try that? So starting on this wide second finger. Brilliant, now let's put those two together. So it goes three, one, 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 two, open, open, open. Let's try that. So third finger to start. Three, one, 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 two, open, open, open. Fantastic, one more time. Three. Brilliant, let's go back to the beginning and put those two together. So starting on a wide second finger on the D string and we're going to jump up to a first finger on the A. Now three to one. Two to open. Brilliant, 
okay. Now, next phrase is almost the same as the beginning. So, we still do. And so that's a second finger on the, on the D string, up to a first finger on the A. But then we're going to keep going up the scale. So we go. So we're going to go two, three, open one. So we end all the way up on the first finger on the E string. Let's try that. So starting on a second finger on the D string. And then up the scale. Brilliant, one more time. Fantastic, let's go all the way back to the beginning and we're gonna put those three bits together. Okay, so starting on a second finger. Last bit to learn. So this is where our close second finger comes in. So we're gonna do another number one on the E string to start, and then we're gonna do a close second, and then back to a number one. So we've got, like that. And then we're gonna go down the scale. So open, three, wide second, and finish on a number one. Okay, so let's try that. So starting on the first finger on the E string. So we go one, close second, one, and then down. And that's the whole of the first line. Should we give that a go from the top all the way through? So starting on a wide second. The next line is very easy because it's exactly the same as the first. We've just got to learn the little joins between the lines. So the first time we do it, so we've got the end of the number one, and then we're going to do a slur from a number one down to an open. And then that leads us back to the beginning of the line again. So let's try that one more time. So starting on the first finger on the E string, going to do one open and then we go back to the beginning. Now the second time once we've gone through that entire line again for the second line we're going to do the same thing but instead of going a one to an open at the end we're going to do a one to a wide second and then that leads us into the next bit. Okay, so let's try the ending for the second line. So we're going to start on that number one on the E string again. And this time we're going to do one, two. Fantastic. Right, let's try all the way through the first two lines. So we've got to remember just at the very end, the first time we go one open in a slur. The second time when we get to the end of the second line, we're going to do the same, but we're going to do one to a wide second. Let's try from the top. So second finger on the D to start. So that leads us on to the next section. The next section, we're gonna do one, two, and we're gonna start the next section on a third finger on the A. So let's have a listen at the little bit that we're gonna do. Okay, so this is nice and easy, it all moves by step. So starting on a third finger, and we're gonna go down. And then we're gonna go back up. 
So we should finish on a first finger on the E string like we did before. So we try that again. So starting on a third finger on the A. And ending on a first finger on the E string. One more time. Now we're going to bring our close second fingers into play again. So the next section, we're going to start on a close second. This is nice and easy. So we start on a second, down to a first, then down to an open, back to a one. So we do. And then we do it again. So twice through that bit. Should we try that? So starting on a close second. And again, close second. Brilliant. Okay, from the beginning of the third line, so we're going to start on a third finger on the A. Then close second. And again. Fantastic. One more time. Third finger on the A. Close second. Brilliant. Next bit's nice and easy because we're going to do the same as the beginning of the third line. So. so we do that section again. So let's go from the beginning of the third line. So we're going to do the first little bit and then the bit with the close seconds and then back to the first bit again. So starting on the third finger on the A. So close second and again. Back to third finger on the A. Brilliant. And then we know the next bit. So the next bit is, which we did at the beginning of the first and second lines. So starting on a first finger and then we go up to a close second and then back down the scale till we end on a first finger on the A string. Should we try that? So we'll start on the first finger on the E. Close second, and then down. Good. And then we're going to do up a slur from a one to a two, so we can go back and do the, the line again. Okay, let's try the whole of that line. So starting on a third finger on the A string. from the very beginning. Let's see if we can remember all the way that far back. So from the beginning, we're going to do lines one, two, and three now. So wide second on the D string to start, and we're jumping up to the first finger on the A string. Third finger. Now the last line, we're pretty much done because it is the same as the third line. Let me play the ending. But we just finished on two Bs because it's the end. We don't need our joining note to join us into the next line. So just two Bs, two first fingers on the A string to finish off. And we have done the whole piece. Let's just try that last line one time. So we're gonna start on the third finger on the A. Close second. And again. 
whole thing. Brilliant, well done. Okay, so let's try the whole piece. Remember, if there's bits you've missed and it's been going a bit too fast for you, you can always rewind and go over bits again until you've caught up and then you can keep moving forward. But now let's try the whole tune from the beginning. So wide second to start, going up to a first finger on the A. Well done. Okay, so now I'm going to play it the speed that you would need to play it for dancing. So this is to give you something to aim for. Um, I'm going to add in a few more notes and a few ornaments, so it might not sound quite the same as the version we've been using. But once you've learnt the basic tune, then you can use that to put in your own ornaments, your own variations, and make up your own. So here we go, three little boats, up to speed. Okay, now give us a second and we're going to switch over and we're going to do a version that has the piano part as well so you can play along. We're going to slow this tune down again and we're going to give it a go with the piano part now. So we're in 6-8 and because we're doing it quite slow we're going to count six beats in to start off with and then we're going to start together. Okay, let's give it a go. One, two, three, four, five, six. tune and the piano part are found in the fiddle series of books so we have the tune in the student book and then the piano parts can all be found in the teacher's book and you can buy these all on the Culture Vanna website so if you go to www.manxmusic.com you can find all the books available to buy there. I hope you've enjoyed learning this tune please come back and learn some more in the series thank you very much <laughs>